what's up what's up what's up this your boy q the content guy and i am back for part two of the real housewives of beverly hills season 12 reunion um you know one thing about these reunions when they're three parts or four parts it's like the first part is always like boom 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 we gotta keep your attention it's where everybody's excited and it's like the second part is like Ugh, they could have kept that and then sometimes the third part is a hit or it's a miss I must say and I think I've said this throughout the season Beverly Hills has really been on its A game and part one was explosive and part two was explosive I can only imagine what part three is going to give so you know kudos to the ladies for that um uh so we pretty much start off where we left off which was um diana and lizard excuse me garcelle and lizard lips pretty much rehashing what we learned last week about the bots and all those things well let me turn this music down some where is my thing Okay. So, <clears throat> you know, the reunion opens up with a continuation of Garcelle and Lizard Lips. And um, Garcelle says, I don't go out there and put, it, you know, talk about anybody on social media or anything like that. So please leave me alone. Lizard Lips says, you know, you called me, e you called me evil. Evil. You called me evil. And Garcelle's like, you've been, att you were attacking me on social media. So Andy says, what's the difference between calling? What's the difference from calling somebody evil and see you next Tuesday? Diana, for some reason, thinks evil is is more severe, you know, than calling somebody the C word. And then dummy, dumb, and dumber, Lisa, Erica, and Dorito talking about, yeah, I think evil is, is worse. And Andy are looking at them like, like, what even Garcelle and Sutton are sitting there like you girls like you what okay 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 all right okay I just okay um child I can't um They said it's nothing. Evil is much worse, much more, much worse than the c word. Um, <laughs> child, I can't, I, I can't. I, I lost my train of thought. I lost my train of thought because I can't. Diana says, um, you know, she called her soulless, and and Sutton was like, no, that's that's what I called you. And Diana pretends to be crying, and child, don't nobody give a fuck. Ain't nobody don't nobody give a fuck everybody confused that you still calling everybody looking at like wait you still calling the c word worse than evil like huh help me help me figure it out i'm lost help me out like help me out uh, I, I can't i i actually want to go back to this picture i'm gonna just leave this up here for a second because it's gonna make sense for the next one so um Liz Liz says she got a lawsuit pinned in and child, whatever. I Erica says she thinks Liz Liz's intentions are good and child, don't nobody care. I'm with I'm with um I'm with Garcelle. I don't want to talk about her no more. I don't give a fuck about Liz Lips. Do not bring her back. We don't miss her. We can act like it never she never exists. We good on her. We are good. Um I, I'm, I'm gonna just move on. I'm gonna just move to the next the next scene because I can't. They go on break for lunch and backstage, Dumb and Dumber um, are talking about Garcelle saying, you know, can you believe that she thinks someone on the show would attack her son on social media? Erica, and then here go Erica. You know, all our children were attacked um, and they get threats and death threats and you know, and Lisa says, it's sad. <laughs> you know, <laughs> It's sad it, you know it's 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 really sad and she's like you know it's sad that she's doing this and erica's like you know 
you know, how could she be doing this to us? It, it really causes, you know, division. Division. It causes division in the group. Huh? So, Garcelle wants to know who attacked her son on social media and said those vile, nasty things. And that causes division in the group? Oh, not the fact that Lisa act like a plum fool several times. Nope, that didn't cause division. Not the fact that Erica says it's all about me. It's not about any fuck the victims. It's all about me. That didn't cause division. What caused division was Garcelle, 14-year-old son at the time, and her sticking up for her 14-year-old son because he was being attacked, that caused division in the group. Okay. All right. Uh, 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 I don't have nothing. Okay, let me move on. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> let me move on. Let me just move on. Child Kyle segment is up next. I'm back here. And it was brought up um, about PK and Doree having an affair. And they really think PK and Mauricio having an affair. And child, I think I think it's just a bromance. I don't really care. Erica says she went to the World Cup Finals and ran into PK before he knew Dorito and Axe was her and her homegrown porn. Well, she was close to it. <sighs> they say Garcelle is the one that causes the vision in the crew. Anyway, child. Garcelle's segment is up next. And, you know... Garcelle is happy about her Birkin bag. She's happy about the progress on her beach house. She said it's going slow, but you know, it's, it's been knocked down. It just takes time to get permits and things like that. So congratulations on Garcelle. Andy brings up the fact that Garcelle wrote a book and it was released this year. And she brings up the Bill Cosby incident. And I mean, we all know how we feel about Bill Cosby. So, you know, it's no need to rehash it, but you know, pretty much the same thing. He invited her back to his townhouse. He offered her a drink. She tasted it. It didn't taste right, and she ran out of there. And everybody was like, you know, kudos to you for having that kind of, you know, going with your gut feeling at the age of 18. So, you know, big ups to you, Garcelle. Big ups. And Bill Cosby's disgusting. Now, that's who you cancel. Okay? Okay. Um, Andy asks Erica, did she at least go through Garcelle's book before she threw it in the trash? Erica kind of looked and cocked her head to the side and looked. And she panicked and she looked at Lisa and Lisa was like, well, I have to be honest. I'm actually the one who threw it in the trash. Lisa said her and Garcelle had a handshake agreement that kids were off limits. And, you know, about a year and a half later, she put Lisa's daughter in the book. And Andy was like, I think she was, re you know, pretty much telling the story that she sh that she shared in Rome, which is pretty much. You know, Amelia or whatever her damn name is was going through a ED, and she was asking, um, lip, you know, lips, um, was her daughter what was you dancing around in your bikini, bikini and stuff like that, the cause for your daughter's eating, you know, disorder, and she was like, no. So I mean, that's what it was. She didn't say anything, you know, harsh about your daughter. Or anything like that. And Garcelle was like, you know, um, Lisa lawyers called her manager and they, you know, so they ha had agreed to redo another section to do it, you know, a book and release it again and take that section out. I mean, okay. Okay, Lisa. Okay, girl. All right. But yeah, you can't go help your daughter who crying for you on social media, who crying for you and, and Harry to get help, to help her out. You can't go help them. But Garcelle had to do that part. Cool. We got it. We see each other. Um, Andy brings up Garcelle's son and working at Lisa Vanderpump. And you can, honey, and she, Ar Garcelle says, yes, he works there. And I filmed with her recently. And Lisa's like, oh, wow. Why? I don't have anything to say. You know, you shouldn't have anything to say. Why you have something to say? Why? Oh, because you're mad because Lisa has her own show and Garcelle's hanging out with, the, with, with your op. Is that what the reason is? You can't take? 
Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure you don't have to worry about it. I'm sure you and Lisa are not even in the same league, honey, let alone the same tax bracket. <laughs> yeah. Now, what I find very disgusting, and I'm about to get on Andy a little bit too, as this segment's going to commercial break, you know, they're getting up and stretching and things like that, and they start laughing about what was in the trash can and recycling and things like this. Now, here's the problem that I had with you, um, Andrew. You're, you are the host. You're supposed to have an unbiased opinion. So when Lisa threw it in the trash can, you should have kept a stone face and been like, oh, okay. You didn't have to say anything, actually. And you should have reached over to Garcelle and made sure Garcelle was okay because Garcelle had a look on her face of where she was just red in the face and she was pretty much disgusted. People online saying she was going to cry. I think if she was going to cry, it's probably be out of anger because she probably wanted to get up and smack the fuck out of that raggedy, broke bitch, Lisa Renna. Lisa Renna got a recycling bin of you know of trash, old phones. Oh, she was recycling. You threw Garcelle's book in the trash can. Erica decided to post it online because Erica couldn't handle that. Garcelle, when Garcelle says, "Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You look bad yourself," and you couldn't handle the fact that everybody was going up for Garcelle. Well, I got news flash for you, bitches. Honey, the fans love Garcelle. The fans love Sutton. Without them two, there is no Beverly Hills. So tread lightly. She, she's the reason you're getting a check. We're going to move on. Child, Lisa's segment is up next and whatever. And she's pretty much said she's trying to walk through life and she's sorry for acting crazy on TV and she should have took the time off when her mom passed away. A fan pretty much says, Lisa, you're using your mom's passing as an escape goal for your dis- deplorable behavior. And Lisa says, you know, she's in a very confusing time and she's all over the place. And Andy asks Erica, you know, did you step in for Lisa? Like Lisa stepped in for you when you were drunk. And she was like, me and and Lisa had private conversations about her mom's dad and she was grieving. So the answer is no, because Erica didn't find anything wrong with her behavior. Remember, Erica don't care about nobody but herself. So the questions to Erica is, is, is pointless. Anyway. Moving on. I ain't got my I you know, I, I, I can't do Lisa. Moving on. That's why that bitch got booed at motherfucking um Bravo Kind. And that's why wasn't nobody checking for her ass. And that's why them fans was tearing her ass up and was asking in front of everybody, are you going to fire Lisa Renner? We don't fuck with you. We good on you. Um Sut- Sutton segment is up next. And Sutton says she regrets saying what she said about Doritos break in. Honey, if you need to this channel, let me tell y'all something. <clears throat> I don't believe the reads break in. Um, so I wouldn't apologize for anything. That's just me. They bring up Kyle being very physical with sudden and sudden said and sudden pretty much calls Kyle out and says, you know, you're being aggressive and you were, you know, about the miscarriages. And Andy says, you know, do you think Sutton made things about herself? And Garcelle was like, you know, yeah, sometimes. And and it's so funny because when Garcelle said that, the other girls was like, oh, there's a crack in their friendship. Nah, they good. A real friend can tell a friend, girl, you know, you make it about yourself sometimes. And that was it. And they moved on. See, y'all, y'all, Fox 5 or Fox 4, y'all ain't got no real friendship. That's why y'all can't keep y'all shit intact. But this ain't about y'all right now. So, um... You know, they, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, so they was like, do you know, do you make things about yourself? So then he go Dorito on the other side talking about, yeah, I think she, no, I'm sorry. Andy says, when you put up the miscarriage, did they, did the ladies feel like it was, Sutton was making it about herself? And then Dorito was like, I feel like she was making it about herself. Let me tell y'all something. Sutton dismissed Dorito so motherfucking quickly. The camera didn't even pin over to her. Sudden said, girl, be quiet. And and the camera kept right on sudden. Boom. Girl, ain't nobody hearing what you got to say. You you and PK trying to figure out what y'all got going on over there. Okay? Okay. Um, And, you know, and then he asks Erica, why is sudden a liability? And Erica says, because it stops them from trying to get to know Garcelle. And Garcelle sudden and Andy was like, but can't you say the same thing about Lisa? And Lisa was like, and Andy was like, well, Lisa, do you think Erica's a liability? And Lisa ain't had shit to say. And Crystal was like, 
you know, the four of them protect each other. As simple as that, the four of them protect each other. And everybody, nobody had nothing to say. See, the thing is, y'all so big and bad, but when everybody calling y'all out, y'all ain't got nothing to say. Hmm. That's how I know y'all can't. That's how I know y'all can't. That's why y'all can't handle Garcelle and Sutton. Because when they call y'all out, y'all sitting there looking stupid. Y'all ain't got nothing to say. Y'all can't with these stupid bitches. Um. Uh. Sutton said, you know, um, on Watch What Andy said, you had to know what happened on Watch What Happens Live will blow up. You know, when she called out um, Harry and Lisa about not saying thank you for buying their tickets to the Elton John. Um benefit and Sutton says you know I didn't think it would get that big but I knew you know pretty much I knew what I was doing because she didn't I was you know she's waiting for a thank you and she was pretty much having Garcelle's back like girl what you not get ready to do is make this sauce the hairy sauce about Garcelle we not we not even get ready to do that now so let me go ahead and give you a little bit sis and I got my homegirl bag I did something for y'all and y'all didn't fake me it is what it is that's the kind of person you are you broke so I bought you a ticket it didn't hurt my pockets but it would hurt yours. Um, a fan said, you know, pretty much Lisa, you know, Lisa actions and words so that shows that she doesn't like sudden. So why do you pretty much keep trying to be her friend or something? I missed the last part, but I'm going to think that's what he said. And sudden says, you know, I think Lisa hates me. And Lisa says, I don't hate you. I don't hate anybody. And sudden says, you got pretty brutal with me. And, you know, I was there for you when your mom passed away. I was helping, you know, giving you advice, talking to you and things like that. And you were very nasty and brutal to me. And Lisa was like, you know, I've had a rough season. And Sutton was like, I understand that. But you did. But you did. You didn't do it. To anybody else. You only did it with me. And let me tell you why I love that. Instead of Sutton saying, you know, yes, I know you had a, a you know, a, a rough season. And, you know, I forgive you. Sutton said, I understand you had a rough season, but you only took your issues out on me. So the thing is, how rough was your season when you only attacking one person? So you didn't attack it. You didn't attack anybody else. You only attack one person. If you would have attacked everybody else, you might have got some grace because people could have been like, well, you know, her mom just passed away. And the difference is, and I'm going to merge two shows together. When Heavenly over on Mary the Medicine mom passed away, she apologized to Toya. She didn't wait till she got to the reunion. She did it when she saw her again. Hey, my ashes towards you. I apologize. My mom passed away. I'm just going through it. You, however, Lisa, had that fake mental breakdown. I didn't see any tears coming out your face. You had that breakdown in the back of your house going off on only sudden. But you keep wanting to blame it on your mom. Okay, girl. Please. Um... Of course, Lisa didn't have anything to say. She, you know, she said, I apologize. And Sutton was like, you know, um, I need you to apologize. Like, you need to apologize to me. And Lisa was like, I apologize to you. Um, I'm really sad. You know, I I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry. And, and Sutton says, it's a behavior and it's your, it's your pattern. And Lisa says, I'm sorry I took my pain and sadness out on you. Um, my pain, sadness, and fear out on you. Andy then asks his, lisa about her social media post and he said you know you're a disaster on social media we've had several conversations privately why keep going to social media about something just call the producers up if you're not happy with what they're doing um and you keep making trouble for yourself so andy pretty much is saying the same thing that he said to candace down at real housewives um but i think he's giving lisa a little bit more like call the producers you're making trouble for yourself i've called you several times every time you post something i'm thinking what the fuck are you doing why do you keep doing it and lisa says you know you know it's a thrill or whatever it's negative attention any attention is you know how people say any attention is good attention that's how lisa feels she, you know she's a work in progress and then she had the fucking nerve to say put me on pause i don't care girl Girl. 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 If they put you on pauses, you done. They put you on pauses, you done. What you mean? If they put you on pause, you done. We good on you. We, we, we don't need you to come back. You're not Dorinda. We good on you. We don't need you to come back. 
Um, and then Andy brings up um Lisa's post about Garcelle and how you know Lisa's saying, you know, if we argue with Garcelle, we're racist and things like that. And Garcelle was saying, you know, it comes off sometimes as a misperception. You know, if you're not around color people, you don't know what to say. Or excuse me, if you're not a person of color or hanging around people that are, you know, are, are people of color, you don't know what to say. And sometimes it can come off as an undertone, you know, um, of racism and things like this. The problem where the problem nowadays is when you have a group of friends that are divert, di you know, diverse or um, you know, diversity. It's very hard to argue if you're a white person. It's sometimes hard to argue with a black person because it does come off like that, and you can really just be in an argument. So, unfortunately, I think Lisa should have kept that comment to herself because you can argue with Garcelle, but you don't need to. Go, people are going to attack you because people don't like you. Because when you argue with Sutton people people on Twitter go after you. So it's not just Garcelle. You want to make it about Garcelle, but it's not Garcelle. Lee, Sutton and Garcelle are fan favorites, and they don't do wrong the way that you do wrong. That's why people have an issue with it. But okay, sis, we'll make it about color. Anyway, so, you know, Garcelle's breaking that down, and Crystal says, you know, that's how I felt, you know, with her conversation with Sutton in her original conversation. Um, and Kyle was like, you know, but that's not, that's not what you said or, you know, along that lines. And Crystal was like, that is what I said. And she was like, Kyle, stop. Like pretty much Kyle, I'm not talking to you. So mind your business. This don't have nothing to do with you. I'm just really backing up, backing Garcelle on what she's saying. So Kyle then is like, you know, um, so Crystal says it's no different than when you apologize to Garcelle. Kyle then comes back and says, yeah, I apologize in public and it was more clean. And Crystal was like, it doesn't have to be clean and stop making it about yourself. It was my experience and you and you don't understand anything until you're exposed to it. Kyle was like, that's not true. And Crystal says you will never understand it um because of who you are and you only understand things you know and you only understood you don't understand things because of who you are aka because you're self you're self-centered you don't care about nobody but yourself but also the only reason why you apologize to, and like crystal said the only reason why you apologize to garcelle is because you didn't want to get in trouble that's it it's nothing else to it turn the cameras off everybody can go home that's what it is Kyle, you only apologize to Garcelle because, and you apologize to Sutton because people were going to tear you a new one online and you could not handle it. So I agree with Crystal on this one. Crystal clocked in and she checked your ass. It ain't nothing else to it. Let's move on. They go on break and it's one more segment. Kathy, get ready to come out and get motherfucking Lisa together. And that's going to be the end of the reunion. We can take a break and we can start filming and figure out what the new season gonna look like. I can tell you this: we don't need to see Diana. We really don't need to see Lisa. It's simple as that. If we do need, if we do see Lisa, you need to give Garcelle and Sutton another ally, a AKA um, Camille, AKA um, Denise, um, or somebody with flesh, fresh blood. But at the end of the day, Crystal. Um, I was not on your side last week. I'm on your side this week. And that's how you check Kyle. Kyle, you shouldn't have nothing else left to say. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching or listening to this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all for part three of Beverly Hills Reunion. Peace.